Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about first trimester must-haves, essentials, and basically all the products that I use to get through the first trimester. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I am pregnant with my third baby. I have two little girls and I have been documenting my pregnancy here on YouTube and I post a lot of motherhood and lifestyle content. So I, so if you enjoy those type of videos, I would love it if you would subscribe. I did a video maybe last week or the week before, I can't remember about like tips on how to survive the first trimester, but I didn't want the video to be too long. So I thought I would do two separate videos and like the products that I use for the first trimester and then like how I got through the first trimester. Um, I mentioned some of the products in the video, but I just thought I would do like a haul because I used quite a few things over the last three months. I am 17 weeks right now. So um, a few weeks past the first trimester, but I honestly am still struggling with my energy levels. So my videos are a little bit delayed, but I figured this could still be really helpful. You know, I watch a ton of videos myself. Even though this is my third pregnancy, I still did a ton of research on like must-haves to get you through the first trimester so i have a list that i wrote down um but i'm kind of just going to grab things and go from there so the first thing that um you will need is prenatals so these are the smarty pants organic um formula prenatal formula i don't know if you can really see it i got these i believe on amazon i think they sell them at target too um so with my girls well, with Lila, I was we were trying to conceive, so I just was taking prenatals from before I even found out I was pregnant, um, and I took different prenatals then. But this time around, I'm not really able to stomach like anything at all. Like these aren't even bad, but sometimes I can't even take them. But I do recommend these because they have a lot, because they have probiotics in them, which I need to take probiotics. So. I really like that it has those in there so I don't have to remember to take that too because I already struggle with remembering to even take these. So I really like these. They don't taste bad. I'll show you what they look like. Um, They're just gummies and you take four of them. So I might change it up as the pregnancy goes on. I don't really think I have to. My doctor said these are fine. Um, with my last pregnancy, I took the Garden of Life prenatals, which I really liked. Um, but I couldn't stomach them during the first trimester this time around. Um, vitamins make me really sick. I get really nauseous and I usually throw them up, but these ones I did not throw up. Another brand that I also took at the very beginning before I found these, um, I think it was like the Ollie brand, Lolly. I don't know. I'll insert a picture cause I don't have them anymore, but I took those and I really like those as well. But then I found these and saw they had probiotics in them, so I started taking them. My sister is also pregnant and she's taking these. And she had a really, she was throwing up like 24 seven and she was able to keep these down for the most part. So I highly recommend these vitamins. Um, Preggy Pops and also the Pink Stork um, Peppermint Candies for Morning Sick. They don't have any more because I actually am still taking those and I actually just finished my last one the other day and I meant to save the bag but I forgot it. So I'll insert a picture here you can find it on Amazon. They are my favorite even over these but these are pretty good. These are the Preggy Pop Drops. They have B6 in it and um, they just help. They help me a lot. Another thing that I love taking for Jolly Ranchers. I don't know what it is about Jolly Ranchers. They have nothing in it. That's probably good for you but they help me a lot. So um, with that I'm just going to kind of go through I guess the thing that you could eat um peppermints so i had these peppermints um and i also just have like the regular like peppermint candies i would eat peppermints when i felt sick to my stomach they really really did help me um i didn't know that before i know like peppermint oil which i have right here helped my last time but i didn't really have like peppermint candies and they did really help and i think i got that from the pink store peppermint candies and then i just kind of bought peppermint and had it in my purse i had this in my diaper bag and whenever i felt sick or after i would eat something i would have one of these um since i grabbed the peppermint i thought i would talk about the peppermint oil i would sometimes put this underneath my nose if i felt sick it really helped with feeling sick to my stomach um also headaches if you get headaches which i struggle with headaches all the time but i know when you're pregnant you can get them like pretty bad especially if you don't get headaches like my sister doesn't struggle with headaches and she got headaches pretty bad in her first trimester so peppermint oil um i just love peppermint oil i use it all the time i would put it on my pressure points and then sorry i told you i kind of be all over the place but 
C-band. So this is an unopened pack because I thought I lost the pair that I had, but I actually found it. So I'm keeping these for a rainy day. Um, I would put peppermint oil on the pressure point in my wrist and I would put this on and I swear it helps so much. These, I'll get into these in one second. So anyway, peppermint oil to smell. Um, you can digest these because they're therapeutic grade. Um, put it in your water, um, diffuse it. And along with that, just talking about oils, I really like lemon oil. These are from Young Living um, because smells bother you a lot. And I was bothered by pretty much every smell. Like the smell of making my kids chicken nuggets make me want to just throw up everywhere. So if we were making food, um, so when I was making food, I would diffuse these two together and it just really like cleared the air. Okay, back to these C-bands. Um, love these C-bands. I actually pulled them out by the one that I wear, the ones that are unopened the other day, but I figured I would just show you what they look like. I know some people think these don't work, but they really work for me. I use them my last pregnancy too, and they just helped me a lot. So put these on and um, they helped. Even like back in college, I suffered from a really bad concussion and I had horrible, I was just so sick to my stomach and I wore these too. So they really do work for me and I highly recommend checking them out. They're like 10 bucks on Amazon. So yeah, C-bands. Another um, thing that helps that was like a candy thing were these B natal um morning sickness lollipops and the taste like cherry they were they're really good my kids were like constantly fighting me over them so i had to buy them their own like lollipops things what they look like i had i've gone through a couple boxes of these um 20 of them come in here i can't remember the price i got them on amazon i will link everything below by the way um and i would just have a couple of these a day to help with um the sickness so i love these and I highly recommend them too because sometimes like the prego pops like they're kind of sour um so sometimes I just like wasn't in the mood for sour and these are sweet and then the pink stork are peppermint so like I kind of depending on my mood wanted a different flavor and then Jolly Ranchers are obviously super sweet so I like that I have like a variety of things to choose from I struggled with heartburn so bad I still am um so these two things I've still been using all the time so I took Tums um to help with uh, my heartburn. Um, I know there's some other that I also took, I just couldn't find it to show you guys. So I'll link what I took as well in the description box. And then I found this Earth Mama heartburn tea. Um, what flavor is it? I think it's like a peppermint. It is supposed to help with indigestion. So um, I like it. I've gone through a couple boxes of these too. Got these on Amazon. I love this Earth Mama brand a lot too. And I love the Pink Stork brand. The Pink Stork has a ton of teas as well um like a magnesium bath soak and they just have a ton of awesome pregnancy and mom products so anyway earth mama this tea really helped i would make a tea at night because sometimes i just felt like my heartburn would not settle the only way it would go away is if i went to bed so i really like this earth mama tea um and i'm a tea person anyway so but the nice thing what i would do because i am pregnant in the middle of summer um i would make an iced tea and um, put a little bit of honey in it and it was like a nice drink to have because most drinks made me sick to my stomach so I would have tea. That helped a ton. One of the most important things I think that you need if you get anything out of this video is get yourself a nice water bottle that keeps your water ice cold. Um, I would have probably never bought this for myself. I'm not great at drinking water. I have a couple like cutesy water bottles, but they don't really keep my water that cold. My friend Kelly got this for me for my birthday and I, like it was the best gift ever. I use this every day, all day. I'm definitely gonna order myself another one because I use it so much and it has just been a lifesaver for me. I needed to drink ice cold water in order to be able to drink water, otherwise I got really sick and um, and this just keeps your water ice cold all day. I'm, there's so many water bottles out there, they're awesome. And it just kept my water cold all day, which encouraged me to drink more water. And I seriously go through so many of these a day, which is crazy. I never thought I would drink this much water in my life. So I'm very proud of myself. Water is so important when you're pregnant. And I honestly notice a difference the days that I don't drink as much. Help me when I didn't feel good was having an iced 
tub of water. Anyway, highly recommend getting a really awesome water bottle. I'm gonna order more and different types. I just want all the water bottles now because I'm obsessed with drinking water and never thought I would ever say that in my entire life. Basics and Unisom, I talked about that in my last video. Um, that's what my doctor told me to do before bed to help with feeling sick. I felt the worst at night is when I felt the most sick. I was pretty sick throughout the day, but at night it was like, done like I couldn't function it was horrible so that really helped me out um obviously talk to your doctor before you take that but that's what my doctor recommended me for this pregnancy my last pregnancy I took that as well he said at their practice they don't really prescribe anything um unless you're like extremely 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 sick um so she told me to take vitamin i'm saying vitamin vitamin b6 and use some it helped me a little bit i didn't take it completely away but it definitely took the edge off helped me sleep a little bit a few of the other things are you need a pair of slippers i don't know i just really thought that this helped me a ton um just gotta be cozy and treat yourself to a cute pair of slippers so i found these on amazon they're adorable and um honestly my feet started hurting and i was just achy everywhere so slippers are a must um, another few things, um, get yourself a cozy, comfortable bra. This is from Aerie. I love their bras. Those are growing and they're painful and you don't want something that's going to like, just feel like they're restricted or just not comfortable. Like wearing a real, real bra is not comfortable, especially when you're in pain. So you need a comfy bra. And then a must have for me because Seriously, the day that I got a positive test, I was no longer able to fit into anything. I'm not even kidding. So, biker shorts because it's summer. But if you're pregnant in the winter or something, then get leggings. I have the Lululemon ones. Um, I don't like to spend a ton of money on clothes, but these are well worth it to me. And um, they'll last you while you're pregnant and after and before. Like, these will fit me probably all through pregnancy they stretch really well i just really think they're worth it and they're so comfortable um i couldn't wear like i have other brands and stuff and it just was not that comfortable on my stomach like as i don't know when i'm bloated i just honestly didn't want to wear anything but like so around the house i basically just wore a big t-shirt and comfy undies which is another must have you need to get yourself a pair of comfortable underwear i'm not showing any but um i got some really good ones from airy and target so i can try to find those and link those and then another pair of shorts i got were these shorts from free people they have a really stretchy waistband um so they don't fit me as they fit me but they're like not as cute now that i'm like bigger but i still wear them because they're comfortable and they stretch as your belly grows so i do recommend these they have a ton of different colors i have like a red pair too last few things i'm going to talk about are stuff for stretch marks so um i have a ton of different things here and actually i'm running out i ran out of a lot so i'm going to show you what i have and then i'm going to link a couple other things that i use but i ran out and i threw the bottle away um i need to order more actually today so um, I have this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. You probably have seen this. Um, this I'm pregnant. I have this Burt's Bees Mama Butter. Um, I've used this for both pregnancies now. I just love how thick and creamy it is. It's almost all gone. Um, it doesn't really have a smell to it, which I like too, because sometimes things are just a little bit too, like, scenty for me. Um, I found this Golden Belly Serum. It's basically all gone. It was, like, yellow. I don't know if you can tell. I really liked it. It was a little bit pricey and not for a lot either. So I don't know if I'll buy it again. I might. <laughs> I don't know. But it was a little bit pricey for the amount that you get. One that I use, I think it's called Earth's Choice or something. I'll link it and I'll put a picture here. I used that last time and I have to order another one of these. It's clearly, literally, I only have a little bit left. Um, this is the bio oil. Everybody loves this stuff. They all talk about it for when you're pregnant. I liked it. I thought like I don't know obviously I don't know what it's doing right now I have stretch marks so um really my stomach is super itchy and just dry so I like stuff that just makes it feel better and all of this stuff does as far as stretch marks go it is genetic I'm doing what I can but I'm probably gonna get them again it's just the way that it is I'm kind of coming to terms with it sometimes I'm not as bummed out as others but I mean I'm proud of my body but sometimes I'm just like uh can we slow down the stretch marks but anyway um it is what it is so I have been using this for over a year now it's self tanner and honestly putting on self tanner is just such a confidence boost 
and especially when you're pregnant to be honest with you my body is changing a ton and um sometimes it's really hard to see these changes so self tanner helps a little bit um might sound silly but i swear by it so i put this on a lot at least at least at least once a week i do this and i swear i feel so much better about my changing body um and yeah so i believe i almost forgot this um this is a wedge pillow i highly recommend this pillow i've talked about it in my other videos i sleep with this um almost every night i bring this around with I bring this around the house my back hurts pretty early on in pregnancy and pretty early on in pregnancy i struggled with sleep so this definitely helps it's small doesn't look like it will do much but it really is so nice and i love this one because it's so soft I don't know if you everyone needs a pregnancy pillow like that big during their first trimester i did i ordered it pretty soon after i found out i was pregnant because i was just uncomfortable so definitely needed throughout your pregnancy though and it's worth it i love my pregnancy pillow the whole family loves a pregnancy pillow but if you're wanting to start off small i definitely recommend this um i personally think you need both but um that's just me so anyway this was like 20 bucks i remember how much my pregnancy pillow was a big one but i will link that as well that's all i have for the must-haves for this video i hope you found it helpful um maybe leave some of your must-haves in the comments below that way if i miss anything people who are watching this video can also find other things that i didn't talk about thank you so much for watching i appreciate your support so much if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't i would love to have you here and i will see you guys in my next video bye i see it in your eyes yeah, I can read the signs